What is up? Corbin here from Zoco Marketing. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how to set up dynamic uh, Facebook ads, dynamic remarketing Facebook ads when somebody views one of your specific products. So let me show you what that means. So if I'm shopping around here, this is one of my demo sites, uh, and I really like this hoodie, say, and I click in here and I view this page and maybe even I add it to cart, but I don't purchase that product. What we want to do is to be able to now, if somebody views that product or adds it to cart but doesn't purchase, we want to send to show them an ad inside of Facebook for this very specific product that they looked at. And if somebody came over here to my other shop or to one of my other products and looked at, um, let's say, this T-shirt um, and did the same thing, uh, that user would see this product. So we're going to be setting up dynamic Facebook remarketing uh, based on whatever your users are looking at. And here's here's what we're going to be doing. So if you come over here to the Facebook pixel and you look, uh, view content is it's giving me an error right now. If you when you set up your Shopify store and when you install the Facebook pixel, this view content uh, event is not automatically firing. So we're going to set it up so this this so that this fires and you can run uh, uh, a campaign based on your catalog. Um, now this video does require you to have a few things set up. You do need to have a Facebook business manager. You do need to have a Shopify store and you do need to install the Facebook pixel onto your website uh, and through Shopify or whatever that may be. I have links down below on how to do uh, to install the Facebook pixel onto your Shopify store if you are looking for something like that. But we are going to jump right in. Start off in the back end of Shopify. So I'm gonna go over here to Shopify and um, we need to go to apps. And we need to go to the, we're gonna download an app called Flexify. This makes it super easy to set up your product catalog and to import it into Facebook. So we're gonna look for Flexify. And it's this one right here. We're gonna add this app. And then we're gonna install app. All right, and once this is um, installed in here, we're gonna generate our first feed. We're gonna leave this just as um, all collections. So this is an automatic one that you have. If you have more collections, you can go through and say so you have a spring line, a summer line, whatever it may be, you can go through and click the different collections. For this uh, example, we're just gonna keep it all, um, all collection. We're gonna generate this first feed. That's gonna generate this. And here is our product feed that we're gonna need. So we're gonna copy this URL. And this is a free plan. And then we are going to scroll. Oh, and then now actually we're just gonna go right into Facebook. So here we are in Facebook. This is Facebook Business Manager. Once you get to this point and you have that URL that we just copied from Flexify, we're gonna go into the little waffle menu you're gonna scroll down until you see Catalog Manager right here. Uh, this will show you all of your catalogs that you have associated with your Facebook account. Um, for this case, we're gonna be creating a brand new, uh, a brand new um, catalog. So I'm, as you can see here, they're grayed out for you, but I have a few different catalogs, so, but I'm gonna be creating a new one. This may look slightly different for you if this is your first catalog. You may have a button that just says Create Catalog, but we're gonna hit Create Catalog right here. And then now these steps should be the same for everybody else. I'm sorry, I keep moving my screen back and forth to make sure you see everything. Okay, now um, for 99% of the people, if you're not in travel, real estate, or auto, you're gonna wanna do e-commerce. So click on e-commerce, next. Um, and then we wanna upload product info. And then you want to select your business ID, the catalog owner, who you want that to be. And we're just gonna call this product catalog and then we're gonna say demo, just because this is one of the demo ones. And we do want to do this manually. It may be kind of uh, confusing because this says Shopify right here, but because we're using the Flexify app, which makes it so much easier, you're gonna to wanna to do a manual upload. And I promise just follow the steps and, and, and it'll save you a ton of time and a ton of hassle. So we're gonna hit create. It's creating the catalog now. So we're gonna to go to view catalog. 
I'm gonna take you to this page right here. Um, after we've added the products, then we can get started with the dynamic ads, but first we need to add those products. So I'm gonna go in here to items under catalog. We're gonna hit add items and we are going to use a bulk upload. So we're gonna click on this, hit next. Scheduled feed right here. Okay, and then right here, this is where we're gonna put that URL that we just copied, that we copied from our Shopify, uh, from Shopify, the Flexify app, the one, this one right here that we got, we're gonna go back into Facebook, paste that in here. Um, don't worry about these username and password, this is optional. We're gonna hit next. And then you can schedule when you want this to update. Uh, so I'm just gonna leave it as the default as it is every hour, it can kind of update. So when you go through and add your products inside of Shopify, it will update those inside of here as well. We're gonna hit next. Make sure that your currency is the right one. I'm in the United States, so I'm gonna keep it in the US dollar and we're gonna upload. Give this just a second. Okay, so now those are uploaded. So as you can see here, four products um, were uploaded in my data feed. That's how many products I have on this demo shop. If I go over to the items over here, you can see all the exact items that it got pulled, um, that were pulled in to that shop. So we are looking good. The catalog is now connected into Facebook and the products are inside of Facebook. The items all in there. We need to connect the pixel to our catalog. So we're gonna go over here to events. We're going to connect tracking. And then you need to pick, you need to grab the pixel that is on your website currently. So this is the one that's on my website. Uh, and we're gonna hit that right there. Connect that, just flip, click connect on there. So you'll have a lot of pixels depending on, you know, if you've run other things inside of Facebook. So make sure it's the right one. Hit save. And then now we can see that uh, it is connected to our pixel. And I just realized I connected it to the wrong pixel. <laughs> so we're gonna go back over here to connect tracking. And at this time I'm going to add it to the correct one, uh, which is this one over here. And if you make the same mistake, you can simply turn that off right there. And we're gonna hit save. Now that we have created our catalog, We've uploaded into Facebook, we've added our products, and we have connected it to the Facebook pixel. We can now go back to our Shopify store and see exactly what that did for us. So if we go over here to the um, our product now, if you recall when we looked at the pixel before and we looked at view content, it wasn't connected. It was a yellow error saying that uh, it wasn't working. Now uh, Facebook is Reading these, it's giving us a content ID right here. So we can take that and now remark it to people who view this product and don't purchase or add it to cart and don't purchase. And I'll show you how to do that next. Okay, so here we are inside of Ads Manager. If you don't know how to get there, go to this little waffle thing, hit Ads Manager, it will take you here. If this is your first time creating a campaign, you'll see something like this. We're gonna go create campaign right here. And then for this, we're gonna now do catalog sales. And if we click in here, you're gonna see what's gonna happen. It's gonna pull in that uh, that catalog that we just built here right here. So if you didn't do the steps we did before, then this would be empty or you'd be getting some sort of error. But because we created that catalog, it is now right here. So we're gonna click on this one. That's that demo one that we created. We're gonna hit continue. We're gonna scroll down so we have the right catalog here. This is just the campaign name, so I'm just gonna name this Demo um, Dynamic. Okay. We're gonna hit Next. And this is where it gets really cool. So at this ad set level, uh, they make it really nice for you. So we're gonna be promoting all products just because that's how we want it. If you had, say, you had backpacks and shirts, you could, build your catalogs to be backpacks and shirts and then select the, the specific product that you wanted to do. For us, it's gonna be all products just because this is a demo and um, I only have four products on here anyways. And this is where it's really cool. So we can customize all of these settings. So I wouldn't recommend getting too fancy with this. I typically, when I'm starting off, view or added to cart but didn't purchase um, in the last 14 days, I just keep it at this default. If I have a, 
if it's a smaller site and doesn't get a ton of traffic, then I'll bump this up to maybe 30 days. Uh, but besides that, I keep it at 13. You can get more fancy with this as you get more experience, but I, I just keep it at this default right here. And then um, you can adjust your placements uh, and then hit next. And there it is. You don't even have to upload the creative because it's going to pull directly from your Shopify product. So this is what the user is going to see. Uh, keep in mind, if you have low quality images on your Shopify store, it's going to show inside of these ads. So uh, high quality images is always very important when you're creating these ads. All that's left for you to do now is to uh, essentially just put in some primary text, add your website uh, URL, and uh, that's it. If the website URL, this is just your main you know, just your homepage or whatever, if they click on this ad right here for this t-shirt, it will take them to that t-shirt. Um, so keep that in mind. And hopefully this was helpful for you. Uh, if this was, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me to create more videos like these. And we'll see you guys next time.